Hey, church family. It's been said that a person can survive 40 days without food, three days without water, and eight minutes without air, but not one second without hope. But where does our hope come from? As followers of Jesus Christ, our hope needs to be in Him. We believe God is who He says He is, and that His Word, the Bible, is true. And one of the things that He tells us in His Word is that, Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory He will reveal to us later. If our hope is only in the things of this world, then there can be a lot of things that can cause us to feel hopeless as we look around and we see the current state of affairs in our world. We see a pandemic. We see economic uncertainty. We see suffering in other countries. It can seem overwhelming and it can seem never-ending. In light of it all, Paul's statement about our current suffering paling in comparison to God's glory can seem almost naive. So what do we do with such a radical statement? The answer is what we do with it is we believe it. No matter how miserable your present circumstances appear, you really can believe the best is yet to come. Jesus Christ offers you this hope. You just have to believe it. Again, Paul's words in Romans 8.18, Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory He will reveal to us later. I want to challenge you to ask yourself, where is your hope today? Is it in a friend? Is it in your bank account, or your job, or your talents or abilities? If your hope is in anything other than God, think about what that may be, and ask God in prayer to show you in His Word why you should put your hope in Him alone. Amen.